Hi, I wanted to preface this video with a quick explanation. First, I'm splitting this video into two parts. Reason being is the area that I'm at and showing in this video or videos has a heavy concentration of early late basket maker or Anasazi rock art also known as Ancestral Pueblo in these days. I'm splitting the video because there's just too much art to cover and I didn't want to edit a lot of it out. So I figured I'd split the video in two, that way it wouldn't be over an hour long. Secondly, the rock art is ancient and there's a lot of it. What makes this place special is the fact that pretty much all the art in this area are paintings, paintings or pictographs versus carvings or petroglyphs are generally rare. So having a huge concentration of paintings in this area just makes the spot incredible. So I hope you like these two videos. I'm pretty thorough as I observe this incredible window to the past. Enjoy. Hello, hello, D-Rock here. Welcome to the channel. This canyon in the Arizona desert has a dense concentration of ancient pictographs left by the basket maker Anasazi culture that inhabited this area up until 1300 AD or so. The beauty of this spot is the vast assortment of paintings, and speaking generally, paintings like this are few and far between, so to have this dense a concentration means the area was quite special. On this trip, I would be trying a new, to me, route into the canyon that would allow me more time to study all the amazing images since most of my day wouldn't be spent walking. Having the time to gaze and study the images a story began to unfold, and that story is the story of all humans through the ages. Images of family, gatherings, playing of instruments, home, crops, animals in the hunt, and finally violence and possibly war. Yes, it's all here on the canyon walls. Life, it appears, a thousand years ago was really not much different than it is now, give or take a few modern conveniences. <laughs> So please join me as I head out and then discover what once was. All right, well, here we are. I just missed the storm that just blew over. It was still snowing when I was driving out here a little bit in some spots. Um, but uh, the roads weren't bad, so. Uh, this is hopefully the easiest entrance into the canyon to get to the rock art. This is some of the most spectacular rock art I've seen in Arizona yet. Uh, it's it's mainly pictographs, which are paintings, and it's ancient. It's like a thousand years old, maybe older. Um, but there's two ways, well, there's three ways to get in here. This is one of the ways. The other two ways are um, at different spots in the canyon, and they're five miles in or six miles in. So either way, round trip, from those starts, 10 miles or 12 miles, it's a long day of walking. This here should only be from my, I think it's maybe a mile and a half, but I gotta get down all this and continue that away. So I've never done this before, but if this is indeed a way down like that, then uh, this will make a big difference. So we're about to head down and looks like I got a pretty steep drop, but We'll, we'll see. Hopefully we don't get cliffed out anywhere. So that being said, let's let's get moving. It's it is freezing up here well, oh, Yeah, it's steep and loose <laughs> Glad I caught myself I feel like we're gonna hit a cliff wall Hopefully we can navigate it. I mean, I think I can but I'm, I've got the hound with me. So I gotta I Can't get into anything too crazy climbing wise. So 
looks like we're gonna both have a uh, somewhat challenging day. I had a little trouble right here, but we've managed to find some spots to get down. So I definitely wanna make sure that I'm heading back up uh, while there's still daylight. <laughs> I don't wanna go up this in the dark. All right, that wasn't too bad. Definitely been through uh, worse, there's no doubt about that. Just gotta make sure I mark my, my way up unless I see something better with a cliff break. But uh, we're now in the drainage, so we're just gonna follow this around and uh, get into the main drainage and hopefully that's it for the crazy stuff. <laughs> Huh, well, looking up, I'm seeing better spots to come down. So uh, when we return, I think we'll uh, try a different route up. This is good because this is gonna give me a little more time to spend in the area uh, searching because uh, this, is an ancient, this is an ancient site. People have been in here for thousands of years. And let's just go back to a thousand years ago this was a pretty hot spot uh, the climate was okay I think it was pretty conducive to farm corn and there was a, a sizable population in this area and you know you can take it far back early basket maker late basket maker and uh, or ancestral Puebloan however you want to call it but that culture was in here and it was thriving for a minute so having these shorter distances to to walk just gives me a little more time to really examine the area and have a look because you always miss stuff you know and uh whenever you just take your time and scour things it's a time suck but you end up seeing a lot more because this place is so old or the cultures that, that lived in here a lot of times art's been put on top of art that's been put on top of art and some of the things have been extremely faded so uh, you really need to be careful because you could just pass up a lot of things anyway blah 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 stop rambling and keep moving man slotting up this might be a problem might have a drop that the dog can't navigate we're just gonna go deeper and deeper here and again it may, may be okay so that right there is a big old pile of scat and it's full of hair that uh, that's probably cat maybe not maybe coyote but it's pretty big so there's a sizable predator in here. Good to know. <laughs> yep, here's the drop. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is what I figured might happen. Well, I don't have any problem navigating those drops, but she will have a problem. That's my main canyon right there, so. I have to come out of the slot and I think I can walk this portion out. It'll be a little less stressful for the dog anyway. All right, there's a slot. We're gonna head and walk down. Might be able to get down somewhere over here. So, oh, there's a game trail. That's always a good sign. I always take the path of least resistance, so we'll follow this. Well, I'll be damned. I just walked the whole front of this thing and I didn't think, uh, I, I thought we were gonna get cliffed out and we couldn't get down. But, found a nice little spot right here. Huh, and that'll get us down back into the drainage. All right, we're still in action. I thought I was gonna have to pack up and go somewhere else. 
So we're still not down yet. We still may hit a section of cliff here that we can't get down, or at least the dog can't get down. So maybe, maybe not. We're not there yet. But uh, I'm in the area where the spring is. It would have been a reliable spring. So that's why, one of the reasons why I'm presuming uh, there would have been so much concentrated rock art in the area. So this seems to be definitely a special place. And we'll get under here and have a look, see if we run into anything. Well, there's charcoal on here. So now you can see the ceiling black with fires. So people hung out here and had fires. Now we just need to run into some rock art. Here we go. Here's our first pictograph. It is very faded. You can barely make it out. That red right there. And it almost looks like it's been scratched out. You can see the scratches here, right there. Uh, I'm not saying that's vandalism that's been, been done recently. Um, other cultures might have passed through and scratched it out just because uh, they didn't like the symbols or the previous culture. It happens. But that's our first pictograph. And trust me, there's going to be a lot more. Oh, whoa. Look at that. All right, we are in the land of the Anasazi now. That is uh, our basket maker. That is classic basket maker pictographs there. Oh, there's a piece of pottery. And oh, there's carvings down here. Look at that soul just broke off. patterns here and there's more paint there more paint above it almost looks like insanity all right we made it down hmm. there's a picture right over here a lot of them I'm just going to use a different camera to zoom in right here just because I don't see there is not a large panel there. So it's definitely an anthropomorphic figure. I mean, classic basket maker style here. But uh, yeah, I'm going to zoom in real quick with another camera for a view. Whoa. I'm going to have to use another camera to get this shot too. It's so far up. They obviously, I mean, in here there's lots of uh, pictographs that are really high up. So they were using ladders but this is a really interesting design. It's pictographs painted. So once again, let me switch to another camera and zoom in real quick. All right, just gonna pan in here. There. That symbol right there, that figure. Old stuff right there. Old stuff. All right, here we go. Check that out. That's really interesting. So let me just pan out, get an idea of where this is at. Yeah, it's right there. Crazy. I saw a really cool figure. And up above me are the ones I just zoomed into that are really interesting. I'm sure the camera's not picking up, but I want to get up here because there's another zoom off figure. We need to have a look at. Oh wow, look at that. Very, very interesting thus far. I'm so glad. So we were up at the top, wandering there. I'm glad we were able to find that route down. I didn't want to miss any of this stuff today. It's a beautiful day out here. Wind's not bad down here in the canyon. So that's good. And yeah, it's just us out here. We're way deep in the back country. 
All right, there's something in here and there's also a large panel over here. So let's go have a look at least this one. So it came out of that drainage right there. I'm just gonna leave my pack there, so I don't need to bring it up in here. Oh, it's nice not to have it on, to be honest with you. There's uh, quite a few pictographs in here, so you can see right here remnants of um, structures. So, might have been granaries in here. There's some pottery. So, uh, definitely granaries in here, maybe some type of shelter. Yeah. So, this whole thing's lined. Here's the ruins. Probably granaries. Definitely granaries. These are small and it's a sharp kind of cliff here. So this, all this would have been used for, you can see it's on the inside there. It's chopped up pretty good. This sort of stored corn. And if you really want to see something crazy, sometimes you can see the plaster in there. Sometimes you can still see like right here and where their fingers were going through the mud. It's all plastered inside. So this would have been all tightened up so rodents couldn't get into it. But yeah, right there you can see definite where fingers pass through the mud as it was being applied. So here's another, you can see how the mud was applied there. But this was definitely granaries all in here. And yeah, they would have held corn. It had been a good year, you know, there's granaries. You can see the ruins here, here, there, 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 the walls. So granaries probably lined this whole big alcove here. And this would have been food storage, perhaps. Maybe people lived up in here too. So here's another example. Get the camera in there, you can see right there where fingertips, her fingers pass through the mud. And you're looking at someone's fingers pass through that mud like a thousand years ago, perhaps. As they spread it all in here. You see down here. Isn't that just fascinating? Let's go have a look at this rock art that's above these granaries. Whew. Whew. Pretty interesting. Some of it's falling away. That's a peculiar one, huh? Star, maybe? So this is some really interesting stuff here. Here. And I need to back out. The camera's gonna see this better than my eyes are. There's obviously some carving in the rock and then some paint's been added. But there's quite a bit of it. a lot going on here oh check that out so th so this is classic basket maker Whew. I'm looking at some of these and I'm gonna point out scratchings here. I'm not touching this by the way. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. 
six toes. This is an example of polydactyly. Um, I've done another video on, on polydactyly. It was one of the first videos I did on this channel. And there's plenty of images out in the area, in the general area, where uh, six fingers or six toes are made examples of in the rock art. So I'm not sure where that belief, well, obviously, there's a lot to think about with that. and. I think it comes from ground zero of the Anasazi world, which would be Chaco. That's like the mega center. And they found quite a few uh, human remains that had six, either six fingers or six toes. And I think it was a type of royalty or a belief that kind of reverberated across the, the Anasazi world. It became something they possibly revered. So this isn't the only example of of polydactyly but this is an interesting panel right here and just below it <clears throat> which i've been very careful where i'm placing my feet is some very very old petroglyphs and this is almost exfoliated away and this is probably thousands of years old this this glyph right here and there's there's all kinds of grid like scratchings in the rock. I mean, it's just covered once you really start examining it. And uh, there's more petroglyphs here that have almost exfoliated away, which I would think would be much older than what I'm seeing here. So. Uh, there is a good chance that this canyon's been occupied or was occupied for thousands of years. It's, uh, look at this. If the camera is picking, I might need the other camera to get a close up of that. And this is why you have to stop and take your time sometimes because you just you'll miss all the stuff you won't even notice it and once things like this for example this glyph here gets in the sunlight you won't even see it there's zoomorphic figures small zoomorphic figures carved around this corner right here i'm gonna actually switch to another camera and get some close-ups of that look at these images here Just pan to the right a little bit. This is on that corner. They come out. Very, very interesting stuff. Yeah, pan back out so you can get an idea of where that is. So I'm back to this area because I saw a pattern here. It almost looks like a concentric circle, and I'm sure the camera's going to pick this up better. So we're going to go in close and pan out a little bit with it. What is that? Is that concentric circles? My eyes can barely make this out. There's charcoal up in here. There's plenty of evidence of fire. So there was fires going on in here. There might have been a dwelling right here in this area, and then the granaries are off to the left. So, I don't know, someone, might, someone important might have lived right here. Might have been a jefe over here. This is a fascinating site. Um, so just what I'm observing. I'm not a professional archaeologist or anything of this nature. I'm just what I'm observing is looks like there might have been some larger ruins right here that might have been a dwelling or two. And then there's granaries off to the left here. There's quite a bit of art, especially there's a huge panel where the dwellings might have been. So someone of importance might have been, this might have been their spot. What a spot, huh? Overlooking. Overlooking all this. You can get another look at the, what's left of the granaries here. All right, we're gonna, come around and 
See if we can get out to this panel over here. Ooh, there's some stuff right there. Interesting. Oh, here we go. More patterns. Look at this. So oh, here you go. Check that out. And we've got some vandalism in here. However, it's not recent vandalism. As a matter of fact, what you got here, and if I'm making that all right, Maverick. Looks like Maverick. February 8th. 1888 or 98 it might be an eight right there so this carving that a more recent person made goes back well over a hundred years 140 years ago and he put that on top of some ancient uh, basket maker pictographs when I first saw the graffiti or the uh, vandalism I thought um, uh, I thought it was like 1988 but it's not it's it's old 140 years old on top of probably thousand year old pictographs so pretty interesting this one's really interesting um, the digits on the hands and feet, you got four, three, one, two, three, four, five, four, it's all over the place. Not exactly anatomically correct, but that's all right. Looks like you got another figure here. It's just fascinating stuff. Too bad some morons 140 years ago decided to carve their initials over it, but it is what it is. And all this painting right here is over the remnants of uh, granary here that uh, might have been busted apart and looted by the same people that uh, put their initials in, in the late 1800s. Never know. You can see how the plaster goes out to the side there. Very interesting. What an absolutely fascinating spot. Oh, I'm just scratching the surface in here. I wonder if that storm's moving back around. And uh, this whole canyon is, well, I can't say the whole canyon, but there's long sections of this canyon that have lots of rock art in it. So uh, I'm being pretty thorough today, but just pretty much just scratching the surface, to be honest with you. So. Quite amazing. We're cutting through the tumbleweeds and stuff, and there's a huge arroyo here we got across. Not a big deal, but um, up here is a very large concentration of pictographs. So we are making our way to right there because it uh, is a very intense spot. And walking the arroyo is, is no bueno. It is completely choked with tumbleweeds. So that's not an option. So I'm trying to find a easier pass to cross that arroyo. It's, it's like 12 feet deep to get over here where there's a big concentration. However, I want to point out that uh, there's, there is a huge panel now of glyphs. Follow my finger all the way up there and that's about that's probably 50 feet high 40 50 feet high give or take a few feet well, obviously uh some ladders were in use they weren't crawling up the walls without some assistance but there's some interesting images up there so i'll have to switch to another camera to zoom in but it's uh really 
yeah, it was definitely really interesting. Okay, let me just pan out just so you can get an idea of where we're going. All right. So there's some red and there's a yellow figure above those two red figures. I didn't even see that until I zoomed in. We'll go off to the left a little bit. There's a white figure right there. Just above that white figure are more. Here's a better look. Oh, there's a zoomorphic figure right there. Well, I mean, this panel is 50 feet up the cliff wall. Look at that. We'll go up here. What? So those glyphs I just zoomed in on are up on top above this ledge where my finger's pointing. And then if you come all the way down to the bottom, there's red paint here and there. And you've got a zoomorphic figure there. So, oh, there's more stuff here. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure what to think of this. A lot of times I'll think that maybe a whole section washed away, but it's apparent that it didn't because the same paint is down at the bottom here. So, one really brave individual put a ladder up to that ledge and stood up there and made the bark. That's uh, that's quite impressive. And then down here, there's all kinds of debitage, lithics, tool making, flakes. All right, I'm able to cross the arroyo. Oh, let's go check out that. Big concentration of pictographs over there. <laughs> 